Hello, Williams. Can you hear me, Williams? Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Eric? I'm fine, dude. Good, good. I'm doing okay. How was your weekend? Um, good. All right. Uh, relax. Okay, good. What about the others? Genesis. Hi, teacher. How are you, Genesis? Good. Uh -huh. And you? I'm doing okay, thank God. Okay. Yes. Pamela, Nelly. Good evening. How are you? I'm um, great, thank you. Good. Good. That's nice. All right. Nelly, how are you? Andy, can you hear me? Mr. Serrano, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thanks, teacher. Good. Good. Well, congratulations to all the women that are mothers. Yesterday was your day. All right, so today is the 11th. Do you remember what we spoke about on, on Thursday? Do you remember the topics we covered on Thursday? It's a question. Eric, were you here on Thursday? Um, yes. Do yes. You yes. Do, you, do you remember what we did on Thursday? Um, no, too sure. Okay. Pamela? Gloria, Nelly. We were talking about simple present. We um, practice some questions. Okay. So, so what's the auxiliary we use to make questions in the simple present? Do and does. Do and does. What's the difference between those two? Uh, does is for third person, he, she, and it, and do is for first person, you, we, they, and I. Okay, and what happens to the verb? Uh, it conserves base form. 
Okay. Yeah, stay space form. Yes. All right. What else did we talk about? What were the other topics that we covered on Thursday? Does anybody remember? Uh, Regarding the pronun pronunciation, pronunciation and emphasis. Okay. Yes. Teacher, but action we do and W. Okay. So we have rising and falling intonation. If the question is who does, do you speak Spanish? Do you have brothers? Do you have a car? Where do you live? What did she say? Then if it's WH, it has a falling intonation. Yes. And your intonation is really, really important. Um, if you want to sound normal, if you want to sound natural, uh, your intonation has to be uh, very important. So it's not only communicating, but communicating well. Anything else about last Thursday? Mm. No? My God. <laughs> Estoy en un estado de shock. ¿Cuál fue eso? All right. Anyways, okay. So let's um let's start. Um, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs, so you guys can talk about the different activities you did over the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and all day today. When you talk about the things you did on the weekend, you are using the simple past tense. So let me assign you um, working groups, I mean in pairs. We got 12 participants. My goodness, what was I going to do? Breakout rooms. We got 11 people, so I'm going to make five pairs. So when you start working with your partner, you talk about the different things you did over the weekend. Are the instructions okay. clear? In the past teacher. Yeah, everything you did on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, everything is past tense. But okay. obviously, you can also make a combination of other tenses while you're speaking. Okay. Yes. Yep. All right. Alan. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing okay. Thanks. Who is your partner? Great. My partner. Let me see. Alan. Oh, you're not assigned. No, I'm not assigned. Oh, so you just... Did you just incorporate? Yes, I have incorporated because I have a poor signal on my internet, a Wi-Fi on my Wi-Fi. So that's the reason because I'm late here. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to assign you to group one. You're going to be working with Andy and Nelly.
I have taken too much cold yesterday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that's all did. That's all I did. Really tired. Yes, I'm really tired. <laughs> Mother's Day. And I cook um, chicken. Um, the same routine uh, about the rest of the days. Uh, I woke up very early. Uh, I spent time with my family. And I, I, I ate a lot, and I worked a lot as well, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Yes. Uh, basically, um, uh, sorry. Um, always in the Mother's Day. Uh, que casi nadie decía. Ajá. Okay. Ah, no, ahorita lo estoy viendo. Ah, pues no, ya voy en la 4.2, dice, pero no sé cuántas son. What are you talking about? About the, the platform, teacher. What part of the platform are you doing right now? Me in um, 4.2. Okay. And you, Williams? Yeah, I am in 5.0. Oh yeah, you, you just wrote you just wrote me. Yes. Is that your baby? Is that your baby? Yes. How many babies do you have? I am uh, two two babies. Okay. Is that the first one or the second one? Uh, the first one. The first one. How old is he? How old is years old. How old? Twelve. Twelve years old. Twelve. Oh, oh, so that picture was when he yes. was a baby. Ah, uh, no. Picture I know I don't have in this in this computer. Okay. All right, let me see. Pictures. Yes. Did you celebrate the Mother's Day yesterday? Um, yes, I was here at home with my wife and kids. So, um, you know, we were trying to call Pollo Campero, Pollo Campestre, McDonald's, and nobody answered. Nobody. <laughs> nobody answered. So I ended up doing a, a barbecue for her. <laughs> Better barbecues. Yeah, better. <laughs> yeah. It was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So um, that was it. What about you guys? What do you guys do? Oh, I I was uh, visiting my mom, but on Saturday. Okay. And, and where is she? Uh, because I told I told Williams that Saturday is a perfect. Uh, to to visit my mom because I wearing my uniform and go to visit. If the police stop me, I I was I said I was You're working. I got right. to my, my job. Right. Yes, but we uh, for this reason we celebrate on on Saturday and not Sunday because Saturday at night I go back home. <laughs> and and <laughs> where 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 does your mother live? In Miramonte. Okay. In, where, Miramonte. where do you work, Melvin? DLC, gas station. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. That's good. good. Yeah, so you, you keep your, you know, the uniform can save your life nowadays. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. but it, it was a good reason. I, I just go go out to, to visit her. Yeah. And celebrate only. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, you, you have to use your uniform and whenever, especially if it's convenient for you, go ahead and use it. Yeah. 
Yes. And the yesterday I can I can uh, go out, but I don't. No quería abusar, por eso fui solo. Solo el sábado. Okay. But you were able to go out uh, yesterday if you wanted to. Yes, because the gas station are open and I and I can say I just check in or I just uh, supervise in some gas station and yep. it's no problem to, to my to my activities, regular activities. Okay. All right. Good, good. Yes. Well, t tomorrow is my day and I I need to do a few things. So uh uh i'll see how it goes tomorrow oh really yep all right so i think you guys already finished so let's go back to the main session okay yeah i don't know <laughs> okay uh, uh, at home only at home uh, no celebration the mother day uh, because no is uh, no, it's uh, the, this moment for the celebration, and uh, only that, uh, only house and uh, work too. All right. Okay. Yeah. Are you a mom? Yes, I I am mom. Well, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. I have Happy Mother's uh, Day. Strange Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, but it's necessary in this moment for 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 the city. It's necessary. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, that's right. We and where do you work tomorrow? To take care of us. I worked in uh, Arrocera, San Francisco. Oh. Is that um, Comalapa Street? Yes. Yes. Okay. Arrocera, San Francisco is full working in this day. Are you working from home or you have to go oh, to part the time office. working at the, at home and uh, other time uh, working in the office is necessary to okay. uh, yes and where do you uh, live tamara but no, i live in i live in sacamil okay, okay. Mm -hmm. all right Okay. Yes. All right, good. So let's return to the main session. Okay. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hello. All right, um, any questions about the first activity? Can everybody no. hear me? No, teacher, no questions. Okay. Yes, right. I hear you. Okay, who said yes? Any, any questions about the activity we were doing? No. No. All right. So um, let's start with the first activity. Well, actually, the second activity. Um, where's this? Should be here. Yeah, that's the one. Do you see the image? Yes. 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 Where is this yes. image? Stadium. The stadium. Do you go to the stadium? No. No? No. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Do you don't follow Salvadorian soccer? No. 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 Okay. Do you watch soccer from uh, other countries? Sometimes. Sometimes. No. I like uh, motor sports. Okay. Do you ride a motorcycle? No, I like cars. Okay. But you like uh, sports that are related with motorcycles? No, for cars only, but uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see. Rally. Okay, do you go to El Javali? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay, so this picture is at the stadium. Uh, what's the sport? Soccer. 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 How many players in a soccer team? Eleven. Eleven. Right. So you have 10 playing and one that is the what? What's the name of the of that person? That is the goalie. You can say goalie or goalkeeper. Let me see if I can find you here. Da -da 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 Nine to ten. Goalie. 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 All right, anyways. Um, what do you see in the picture? What do you see there? A crowd. Yes, there is a crowd. What is the crowd doing? Yelling. Yes. Why do you think they are yelling? They are excited about the game. Good, good. So when about their teams winning or losing. Exactly. So when you go to the stadium, it's because uh, usually you like one of the two teams, if you're watching soccer, and you go to show them support, right? Okay, so... Um, what are the names of the teams? Frogs and Frogs. ducks. Yes, Frogs and Ducks. Right. All right, so we have two people in the conversation. We have Dave, we have Susan. Uh, remember that whenever you have a period, you're supposed to stop. You have a question mark. Your intonation is supposed to be related to a question. And uh, and the same thing, if let's say you're coming across a, a, an exclamation mark, your your intonation has to be <coughs> So I need two volunteers. I need Dave and I need Susan. Dave. Okay, thank you. You're Dave and Susan. Me. All right, Tamara, thank you. So whenever you're ready, one, two, three. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. 30. 30. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That's all fine. See you three. 30. All right. See you there. Good. Very good. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, any questions about meaning of vocabulary or pronunciation? Somebody, no. anybody? No? no? All right, so I need two other volunteers before we go to our 
next activity. I need two volunteers to read again. Me, teacher. Okay, yes, please. Genesis, you're Susan and Dave. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, so uh, whoever, because you guys said it at the same time. So who's going to be Dave? Andy, all right. Go ahead. Me. All right, go ahead. I I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Uh, would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does at the star? It star? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around uh, 7.30. Uh-huh. Okay, let me, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right, good. Thank you. All right, um, any questions related with the conversation? No? Okay, would you yes. like to go? So um, here is what we're going to study now. When you are giving someone an invitation, you want to sound nice, you want to sound polite. So you should say, would you like to go? So let me show you conversation. right here okay so when you're inviting someone this is the way you should say it so you can sound natural and polite so look at the first question would you like to go out on Friday yes I would yes I love to thanks Yes, I really like to go. So when someone is giving you an invitation, they will say, would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go to the stadium? Would you like to have lunch at my house? If the answer is positive, you will say, yes, I would. Yes, I love to, thanks. Or you would say, yes, I really like to go. Now, the second invitation, would you like to go to a soccer match? Then you said, I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. Or you can also say, I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Now, what is the construction of I would? I'd. I. All right. Um, any questions there? Teacher. Yes, sir. Not common to say I would like to. The yes, yes, you can say it. It's 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 uh, it's acceptable, but people usually use contractions. So therefore, uh, I recommend that you should use contractions too. However, you can always say it. I would like to. She would like to, and that's not a problem either. Okay. What is the difference about the would and like? Uh, what do you mean? Like, would you like? Te gustaría ir? Te gustaría almorzar? Te gustaría? Yes. Yeah. So, would, like I said, it's a nice way to give someone an invitation, whether the answer is positive or negative, you you always you should always use would when you're giving an yeah. answer. So he says, yes, I would. You know what? I would like to, but I have to work. Or, you know, so you use it whether the the answer is positive or negative. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? 
No. No. All right. So let's no. do one exercise related with this. Ha ha ha. Not this one. Not this one. This is it. Let me see this here. Intermediate. Pre-intermediate. Let's do this here. Teacher. Yes. We use wall in present simple? Yes. Simple present. Uh, simple present. You can say simple present, present simple. Yes, you use it in, in the simple present uh, form. Okay. Yes. So, uh, for example, they say, look, I have a coupon with a 40% off of Benigan's. Would you like to have lunch with me? So you say, uh, you say would. Okay. With the simple present. All right. Okay. So um, instructions, read the following invitations and select the best response. I need a volunteer to read the first one. Okay. Me. All right. Um, I have tickets the, to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Uh huh. What is the best yes. answer? Yes, I love. Yes, to. yes, I love to. All right, good. Number two, another volunteer. I will Who be did? the number two. <laughs> All right. Uh, or, or someone else gonna do it? So excuse me. <laughs> go ahead, Alan. Okay. How would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, uh, the answers are? I like... I, I to, like, but I, I have, have meeting. But I have to work late. Okay. I'd so. like to, but I have meeting. Okay. All right, so is it number one or number two? Number two. Number two. All right, let's click on number two. Okay, what about number three, another volunteer? Uh-huh. Hi, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Uh-huh. Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay. The first one. The first one, very good. What about number four? Uh-huh. Would you would like Go a soccer match next Sunday. Uh huh. Yes, I love to. I love Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the last one. Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? I like to, but I have to work. Okay, so is it the first or the second one? Second one. The second, second, one. second one. All right, let's send it. And there you have it. You have all your points there. Very good. Nice work. All right. Um, do we have any questions about this exercise? Is, uh, that is used only in simple present tense, or we can use that in other tenses? Um, it can be used like in a uh, uncertain future. Um, so you say, look, um, I have vacation next week and I would like to go to Guatemala. Would you like to come with me? And then you would say, I would love to go, but I don't think they will give me permission. Okay. So it's an uncertain future. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No. Okay, so let's, no. um, here we go. 
Let's practice some reading. Do you remember this woman? Yes. Who is she? Cristina Aguilera. Okay, what nationality is she? It's American. Okay, do you remember where her parents are from? Do you remember her parents' nationalities? I think the, the father is from Ecuador. Yes. Uh, I, I don't remember if it was the father or the mother, but yeah, one of the two is from Ecuador. I don't remember if it was he or she. I think he, uh, her father. Okay, all right. And do you remember her mom's um, nationality? No? I don't know, I think she is American. Okay, uh, I think she was no. Irish. I, I don't remember no. exactly. I, I'm not sure. Anyways, so we have a timeline here we have different years, and here we have different events that apparently happened in her life. Um, those are also called milestones. A milestone is an important event in your life, in a person's life. So what happened in 1980 in Cristina Aguilera's uh, uh, life? Christina is born on December 18th in New York. All right, good. So December 18th, 1980, Christina Aguilera was born in New York. Good. What happened in 1988? Christina Fierce appears on television in a star search uh, television talent show. All right, good. So imagine how old was she? Eight years. She was eight. eight years old. Yeah. Eight years old. Only eight years old, and then she was on television in a Star Search. Okay, what happened in 1992? Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Imagine she was only 12 years old, and there she was. What happened in 1994? Christina records our I Wanna Do with Kason Nakanishi, uh -huh. a Japanese star. She tours Japan. All right. 1998? Christina is on TV with Kason sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. All right. 1999. Christina has her first big hit, Genie and a Bowl. Good. 2001? Good. And what happened in 2002? Christina, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies. Uh, ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Good, and 2004? Christina wins the first female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. All right, good, thank you, thank you everybody. Any questions about uh, vocabulary or pronunciation? Ooh. No? Do you like her music? Do you like Christina's music? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Do you prefer her music in English or in Spanish? Both of them. Both of them. Oh, my God. Okay, good. All right, any questions about what we just read? No question. Um, what I mean for firms? Performs is when you are present in a particular place. Perform. What what year was that word? Nineteen 
in 2002? 2000, oh, performs, yes, Cristina performs. Cristina se desempeña. Desempeña. Yes. Any other questions about vocabulary? No? No. All right. No. Okay, so let's close Christina. And let me see if you are, if you can see this here. Now this is related with vocabulary, related with family. Can you see the image? Yes. 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 All right. How many people are there in your family? There are six of us. <laughs> okay. So I imagine that you're talking about your parents and three brothers or sisters, Pamela? Uh, no, my parents, my sister, my brother, my grandma and I. Oh, okay, good. Now when you say your grandma, you're talking about your father's or your mother's mom? Mother's mom. Okay, good. All right, what about the others? Big family, small family, medium family? Small family. Small family. Big family. Big family. Big now, small family. Okay, what is big for you? Who said big family? Nelly. Me. Okay, how many people in your family, uh, Nelly? Oh, I have, I have, I have two brothers and two, two sisters, and three uncles. So you have, so so your parents, they have five children all together. Ellie? No, no. You say you had two brothers and two sisters. Yes. Uh -huh. So including you, it's five. Yes. All right, good. Anybody else? Small family, big family? And my family, oh, yeah. there are nine members. Nine members? Who are the nine, Alan? Hello. Alan, you say there are nine people in your family. Yes, nine members of my family. And who are those nine people? Okay, uh, my two parents and my six brothers. All right. You don't have any sisters? Uh, I have three sisters and oh. I have three brothers. All right. Including me, we are nine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is a big family. Uh, how old how old is the first brother or sister it's 30 years old 30 and the youngest uh the youngest i don't remember uh let me check it out uh, uh, <laughs> uh 15 15 all right so it's a yeah. 15 year period that your parents were having babies Yes, right. we, we, and 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 the uh, unusual about my all the members of my family, it's there are three different people. What, what do you I mean? Have, I mean the uh, the about about my family, it's it's uh, something special. Uh, well, quality, quality, right? Quality, yes. No? Quality. Okay, yes, because uh, there are three different people. In, in my family, there are three diff members. I have three diff brothers. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, sorry to hear that. So then I have. No, don't worry. So it's it's real cool because I I have to. What is cool? To learn. Yeah, it's cool because because <laughs> I have to learn a, a, a English on on American Sign Language and 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 sign language in in Spanish. So I know. Sign language on English and Spanish. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes. 
Okay. Oh, I, I, did, I didn't know. All right. So you're going to be trilingual. English, Spanish, and <laughs> sign language. Yes. Because sign language is another language. Right. 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 Oh, that's good. Good for you. Okay. So let's get to the exercise. What's the name of the image? Anybody? Word power family. Word power family. Okay. So it says, look at Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Add these words to the family tree. So we have cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. Are there any questions with that terminology? What is a sister-in-law? Sister-in-law. It can be the wife of your brother or the sister of your wife. Cuñada. Oh, okay. yeah. Cuñada. Cuñada. <laughs> yeah. Cousin. What is it? Cousin? Cousin. Yes. Okay. How do you say tío in English? Uncle. And uncle. Uncle. So the cousin is the son or the daughter of your uncle. Okay. Yes. So it can be for boys or girls. Either way. Primo or prima. All right. Um, any other questions there? No? No. No. All right. So let me, um, if you can, take a picture of it in your computer. And um, see this here. And a screenshot is better. See this here. You know, I broke my cell phone and uh, I don't know what is the quality of the, of the image that you guys get. Did you receive the image? Yes, so I see. We can, we can just take on a screenshot of the, the, the image. Yeah, if you wish. And, and open it and in a swipe screen. Okay, let me see this here. Okay, so let's... Um, did you, you got the image? Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs again. We're almost finished here. Breakout rooms. What are we going to do? Uh, discuss the exercise that I just sent you, the, the image that I have in the computer right now. So you have to decide how they are related to Sam, I think it's his name. Yes. Is it Sam? Yes, it is. Yeah, Sam, Sam. Okay, so let me, um, so you will say, oh, Chris and Sarah, they are father and mother. Donna and Manuel, they are aunt and, and so on. And if you need help with the vocabulary, just let me know. Okay. Okay.
some husband and his, uh, I don't know. <laughs> wife. 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 Wife, wife, wife. Yes. Y aquí lo que hay que hacer es, estamos hablando de San, entonces vamos a verificar de acuerdo a la imagen que nos han enviado. El complemento, digamos, arriba está el abuelo. Entonces, Marta es la abuela de él. Entonces, exactly. eh, vamos a complementar que es Marta de Sam. Eso yes. entendí. The art de the... Nies. Nies is maybe Kelly and Jimmy, right? Yes, um, Kelly and Jamie. Um, um, maybe the uncle are Jamico and Teresa. Jamico and Teresa. Yes. Mm. No, uncle. Uncle, uncle, see. Sí. Uncle. And Sam is husband and Jumiko his wife. Uh, Jim is brother and Lisa is sister. Uh, Teresa is is a niece. Yes. Right, teacher. Uh, yes. Which number are you doing? Which one? The, the, Teresa is a niece. Um, where is Sam? Sam, Sam. Teresa. Or, or daughter. No, I don't know. It is niece. For Sarah. Okay, Teresa. Teresa. Yes. Is yes. a niece for Sarah? We mm, could be, yeah. It's it's uh, Sarah's uh, niece. Yes. So it will be Sam's cousin? I think. I think it's his cousin. Cousin, cousin is Chris. <laughs> Teacher. Chris, yes, father sir. and Sarah, mother. <laughs> what happened? I twin, we twin, we think uh, Sarah is a man. <laughs> Sarah, where is Sarah? Sarah, mother. Oh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a woman. Yeah. The mesh. The mesh. The mesh is really ugly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sarah is a, it's a woman. That, that's why you need yes. to read the name. Yes, but the mesh is a man. <laughs> <laughs> mother but I one mother um, her name is Marina and my how do you say abuelos grandparents Grand, grandparents yes my, my grandparents uh, has 14 uh, children. 14 children? Yes, 14 <laughs> children. <laughs> so you have 13 uncles and aunts? Yes. My goodness, that's a big family. Oh my it's God. It's a big, big, big family. Yep. Where are they but, from? Uh, I, I repeat. Where are they from, Genesis? In United States, United States. 
Okay, but in, in El Salvador, what part of El Salvador are they from? Me, me pregunta cuántos viven en El Salvador. No, de, ¿de qué parte de El Salvador son ellos? Ah, ¿de qué parte de El Salvador son? Eh, La Paz. Ok, good. That's a big family. <laughs> Cousin is... Oh, teacher. Hello. Um, did you guys have the chance to finish all the exercise? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Okay. So, um, are there any questions related with the last exercise? No. 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 Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Once again, I thank you for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, good night. You guys have a good, good night. night. Okay. All right, good you have night. a good night. Good night. See ya. Andy, can you hear me?